Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Pubo Rama, and in today's video, we are talking about snorkels in Grand Theft Auto Online. For some reason, Rockstar has really bad designing when it comes to vehicles, specifically off-roading vehicles. As a fellow off-roader myself, I get really bummed out when a new vehicle, let's say, like this, the Yosemite Rancher, has a snorkel on it. You can see it right there. If you don't know what a snorkel does, basically, your engine needs air to work. And to get that beautiful air to create combustion, it needs to not be submerged. So when you're going off-roading, if the hood of your car is completely submerged, then it's not going to get any air, and it's just going to lock up and die. However, if you have a snorkel, which connects to the intake of the engine, and it goes all the way up here, then theoretically, the way a snorkel works is that as long as the water level doesn't reach the roof of that snorkel, then the car will be fine. For some reason, Rockstar devs are really, really bad at thinking of that, though, because literally, I would say 99% of vehicles with snorkels just don't work. For example, Let's just drive my Yosemite Rancher into the water here. That right there is about snorkel height, and, uh, you know, normally your car should work if you leave it here, but it's dead. I am now pressing gas, and it's, it's dead. So, uh, there you go. That is the exact proof that Rockstar does not know how to code sometimes. It actually makes me really sad to see this too, because it would make off-roading so much more fun if vehicles that had snorkels actually worked. Once again, this is the Canis Mesa, a pretty sweet off-roading uh, Jeep. I think this is one of the coolest off-roading vehicles in the game. As you can see, we've submerged the engine, but the snorkel is not submerged, and I'm applying gas. You can hear me clicking it with my Xbox remote. It's dead. Like, <laughs> the vehicle is once again dead. Don't don't you love Rockstar and their wonderful design? However, while some vehicles with snorkels don't work, Rockstar occasionally gets it right. And that's why I'm making today's video on cars with working snorkels. Now, let me know in the comments down below if I did miss any vehicles. There's obviously a crazy amount of cars with snorkels in GTA, and only like five or six actually have working snorkels. So, it was a bit painful to test out all the vehicles I knew with snorkels to then, you know, showcase them in today's video. But, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it, starting off with this, the Squatty. This is actually the newest vehicle added into the game when it comes to working snorkels. It's, uh, it's a weird looking truck. It's kind of based off like a Hummer, but I'm not really sure what it honestly is. Now, as you'll notice, the back of the Squatty has two exhaust ports sticking out, and as long as they are not submerged, so we can drive the vehicle in the water. But look at that. Hood is completely submerged, and the Squatty is fine. Now, there is one thing I should point out. As long as those are not submerged, the vehicle won't sink. But if you do drive the vehicle fully underwater, obviously it's going to still submerge the vehicle and the exhaust, and then it's not going to be able to drive anymore. But as long as you don't do that, then as you can see, the Squatty drives completely fine in the water, and it has a fully working snorkel system, which is actually pretty sick. I still find it so awesome that... Finally, Rockstar's made at least one vehicle that is new that has a working snorkel. This is the Vapid Guardian, a truck that is actually one of my favorite to do off-roading with, down to the fact that you don't have to worry about water. The Vapid Guardian is not only super freaking huge and amazing at off-roading because of the amount of torque it has, but as you can see, we've completely submerged it, but that is still smoke pouring out of the, the exhaust, and yeah, works completely fine. The Guardian is just an awesome truck because of not only the working snorkels, as you can see, but the fact that it's also just great at off-roading. It creates this amazing truck, and it's one of my favorite vehicles in the game because of that. It's also quite cheap, and here's a fun fact about the Guardian. You can actually stand on the hood of it or anywhere on the roof while it's driving, and you can't be knocked off. My reason to why I've always thought this is the case is because Rockstar designed this the same way they designed vehicles like the Phantom, so maybe it's just that they gave it the same skin as a Phantom, so you can't fall off it. I don't know. Really cool vehicle, though. It looks awesome. It's based off, like, a Ford F650 Super Duty. I would definitely suggest to pick up a Guardian. Next up, we have the Half Track. This is a vehicle that, I'm honestly happy, has a working snorkel, because the Half Track is a really cool, I don't really know what to call it, a tank. It's a half vehicle, half tank. So, it's a, it's a pretty cool vehicle. And as you can see, we have the complete front submerged, and look at that. The headlights still work, and the vehicle still drives. Now, the cool thing about the Half Track is, because it's so heavy, on 
unlike a lot of the other vehicles in the game, it doesn't really float when it's in the water, so you can still drive it at full speed, making it actually a pretty decent off-roader. I wouldn't say it's the best off-roader, because it's not very fast, but the great thing about off-roading is usually you're not going very fast, you're trying to take your time climbing over hills and stuff. So, I actually think the half-track is pretty freaking sweet. It's an honestly amazing vehicle. The fact that it has a working snorkel just adds a bit to, uh, to the truck. I'm gonna call it a truck. I mean, it, it has a truck bed, so yeah, I'm calling it a truck. Next up, we have the lamer version of the half-track, but a very cheap vehicle anybody can pick up, which is the Dune Loader. I think this truck is like, what, $2,000 or something on Southern San Andreas. It's really cheap, but... As you can see, we can drive it fully in the water, keep on going, keep on going, the hood is fully submerged, and look at that, it still completely works. So the dune loader is pretty lame, I'm gonna be real, it's a super slow truck, I mean, look at how slow I'm going in reverse, and let me just show you the, the top speed of it. Oh man, give me a sec, just gotta reverse, then go forwards here. But uh, yeah, the dune loader somehow is just about at the same speed as the half track. I mean, it probably goes like 80 miles an hour, but this is full speed. It's a really really slow truck and because of that I wouldn't ever really suggest to buy the dune loader but again if you're planning on doing off-roading it is all-wheel drive and it's an off-road truck for a really cheap price tag as again though I would personally suggest to get your hands on the uh the Guardian, because the Guardian is the best for, I would say, everything. The Squatty's not bad, but it doesn't have a lot of ground clearance, as you can see. The Guardian is just so high off the ground, uh, especially with just how tall of a vehicle it is. It makes for an absolutely excellent off-roader, and when you add that in with the fact that not only can it seat four people, I think it can also seat two on the back, so six, and then you can also stand on it so it can seat like a bajillion people, and it can basically fully submerge and be fine. I just think the Guardian is an amazing truck. Next up, we have two of the MOC trucks. The first one is, I never remember the name, the Hauler Custom, that's right. Now, I would actually say that these are two of the most fun vehicles to do any sort of water stunts with because unlike all the other trucks, these are super tall uh, exhaust ports, as you can see. So I can literally drive this truck this deep. I mean, <laughs> think about this. I can literally just drive right through the water, no care in the world. And as long as the exhaust does not get covered, well, you're completely fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. But isn't that stupid? I mean, it, it really is fun how crazy these off-roading... It's not an off-roading truck. Just how crazy these vehicles can go when it comes to submerging. See, why couldn't Rockstar do this for all the off-roading vehicles in GTA? So, uh, yeah. Hauler Custom, definitely a sweet vehicle. If you own a mobile operation center, just call it in and uh, take off the back. And there you go. Now you've got a really cool vehicle. I wouldn't really suggest to do off-roading with it because it's not great at off-roading but I'm not really sure which of the two is better at off-roading the hauler custom or the uh, phantom custom because let's be real both of them don't have the best ground clears I would say the hauler because you don't have this giant metal bar in the front but here we go again let's drive the phantom into the water and as you'll notice it is completely fine you can just fully submerge it as long as that exhaust is above the water and once again oh okay we're fine we are fine but yeah it is honestly really fun to do this although you do got to be careful because there are some spots that are you know really deep like that and then the vehicle's gonna die but yeah hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you'd like to see more like this please consider smashing that subscribe button down below as you can see though these trucks are actually pretty impressive when it comes to climbing the hauler is definitely better and oh my that was a lot deeper than i thought how is it still driving oh my it actually almost made it out unfortunately it didn't but it almost did but there you go ladies and gentlemen that is all of the working snorkels at least i know in gta online if you know any more let me know in the comments and i will i will add it as like a pinned comment that these vehicles work as well but um yeah a pretty diverse class of vehicles and stuff obviously there's other trucks that probably have working snorkels as well but uh the personal vehicles i'm pretty sure those are the only working personal vehicles you can own with working snorkels so hopefully you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.